What's up, everybody? It's uh, week five. Uh, it's crazy, man. I mean, it doesn't even feel like five weeks. Um, it's been just another easy week, man. <laughs> I don't even have anything else to say, really. Um, you know, I mean, other than I've just been so busy, still incredibly, incredibly busy. Ugh, can't wait to get out of this. Um, you know, one of the reasons that I started my store was I'm in some personal debt. It was just some stupid credit card habits that I uh, shouldn't have, shouldn't have done. But, uh, you know, the way things are going, you know, it's not going to be a problem in a couple of more months. Um, my store did $47,000 in, you know, just over a month through from May to June to just yesterday. I mean, that's like a crazy record. I've never done that much, even during Christmas, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And so, uh, you know, I don't get to keep all that. Obviously, about 40% of that goes to me, but go, goes to the business, and then only about the way I have it set up now, maybe like one to 2% goes to me personally. Um, but in a few months, I'm using a, a method called the profit first method, which is an accounting method uh, that I won't bore you with, but it's way more less boring, more or less boring than uh, regular, you know, accounting methods. And so uh, it's just a way to, you know, manage your cash flow and make sure you're not in a really pick, in a big pickle uh, you know, like I was last Christmas for my stores. But anyway, I'm talking about my stores. My sobriety update is basically, man, exercise is so important. I mean, you cannot be happy. You cannot be feeling great every day and waking up with a purpose and um, sleeping with a purpose without proper exercise and diet. You know, and so, you know, I, I shared a little bit of my supplements the other day, last video, and those are important. I took them this morning, and I think you should take supplements, you know. Um, but, you know, I've also been eating really well with a, a, an app called eMeals, and it helps you um, plan out your groceries and go shopping and get healthy foods, and then gives you the recipes to cook all the stuff, and they're really good recipes. And that's been super helpful, saving us money as well. Um, and then, um, you know, on top of that, just like sleeping has been super important, but exercise, man, exercise, helping out, uh, my happiness more than anything and helping out my productivity. You know, literally the other day, I think my last video I shared, I was so blocked and I went and did that exercise and I went back home immediately just like crushed through my work, you know, and it's like, I was, I was confused for so long of like, why can't I sit down and do my work? Why I'm distracted? It's my ADD. What the hell? What the hell? And you know, of course, I wasn't exercising, and I never really. I mean, I never really put that together because, to be honest, I didn't have the energy to to exercise. So it's like, I think that if people are having trouble sticking to an exercise regime, I don't think you should a regimen a regimen. I don't think you should. Um, you shouldn't feel so bad about it. I think you should give yourself a little bit of forgive yourself a little bit because if you don't already have the energy to like exercise like then you don't you shouldn't force yourself to exercise like you should um, you should actually need to exercise it should be a thing that you have to do otherwise you feel anxious and like way too over over energized so it's like if you're if you're feeling like not that energized and you feel like you have to tear yourself off the couch just to go exercise then you shouldn't feel bad for not exercising. What you should do is figure out why you're so, why you're so lethargic. Because I didn't even know what lethargy meant until I was not lethargic anymore and I actually had like excess energy. And then I had to, then I had to figure out that in order to get rid of the, because sometimes that turned into like anxiety. So I would have, I'd have all this energy and then I'd have anxiety and I'd feel blocked. And it wasn't until last week where I really connected the two where it's like, I actually need to exercise. I have to blow off that extra energy. Otherwise, it just turns into something else, you know? And so uh, maybe that is a source of anxiety for me and for some other people. I don't know for sure, but I know for me, uh, 
it was it was a necessity for me to burn off that extra energy and then and then the cycle repeats itself so it's like and I also learned that I don't think you need to stick to a, an exercise regimen like exactly the way it's prescribed right because it's like you know I did, I did P90X for a while and I failed miserably at that because it's like first of all I didn't have the gut health to really eat properly so I couldn't eat the food I wasn't nourishing my body because I couldn't digest the food because of my gut problems so I didn't know that that was even affecting me so it didn't matter how much I ate I couldn't really keep up with the exercise and then I because I was you know using only willpower to try to exercise and not and not excess energy like I just mentioned then it was like I had to pull myself out of the ca off the couch and I like I think I've tried P90X twice and like I only can do it you know for a week each time so like I think that you know once you get you reach that level of, of health and wellness where you feel energized then you exercise and then even then you don't have to stick to the regimen just exercise until you are tired and then it could be it could be every other day it could be every two days whatever that is but you'll start to understand that it's like okay I have I'm in a period of excess energy and I can now go exercise and that's when you do the workout and then wait until that same thing happens again and that's your workout regimen you know of course uh, you know of course if you have if you have you know lofty goals like you're an athlete or something and you really want to you know um, go to the next level then maybe that won't necessarily be the right thing for you but at the same time if you're just a regular guy from like me and you just want to have an exercise regimen and you know feel a little bit more healthy and get a little bit more strong then just pay attention to your body feels and exercise when you feel like you can exercise Obviously, you have to have the health and wellness in line first, but once that's done, then you just exercise when you feel like exercising, and you'll actually want to exercise, and that's when you do it. And that, that's basically the, the regimen I plan on standing, staying on until I decide something's changed, and I don't know if it will, but that's what I'm going to be sticking to. So anyway, five weeks, so uh, solidly in second place, so I'm waiting for that three-month mark, and then I'll be in first place, and then I'm waiting for New Year's. No big deal, man. Love you guys.